the most important thing in any outside broadcast is to establish communications between the site and the vehicle outside. And to do that, we use the Baron box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Doug is out in the scanner, and I'm going to attract his attention by pressing the Q sound mixer light. And I shall also listen on production talkback and I shall speak to Doug on the lazy mic. Hello, Doug, how are you? Hello, Ken, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm hearing you loud and clear on the lazy mic. I Excellent. Wish. You're hearing production talkback. I am indeed hearing production talkback. Um, would you like to listen to uh, the lip mic, which is here with me in the commentary box? Going yep. to the lip mic. Okay, let's This up. is the lip mic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. And I'll just um, explain a little bit about the lip mic. It's essentially a very insensitive microphone. It's a, a, a lip ribbon. Is that not correct, Doug? Yeah, actually, it's it's known as a noise cancelling microphone, so that it's very insensitive to uh, sounds that are further away than a few inches. So, provided you speak close, the lip mic will only hear your voice, and it won't hear anything else. So, in fact, if I speak out here, it's not a lot of use to you, is it, Doug? But no, if I bring the microphone closer, you're going to say, "Yes, that's that's, that's, that's all right, isn't it?" One, two, lovely. three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Thank you. So, that's fine and, on the lip mic. And and the reason, of course, for doing this is that what we want to exclude is the sound, this horrendous noise of the crowd all around me. That might be the case at a, a football ground.